trembling at the thought of facing the judge. Alyssa Morrow couldn't shake the fear of prison time. She knew her actions were wrong, but in her mind, it was just a mistake. She didn't know what else to do with her dog and thought he would be all right. Unfortunately, the judge assigned to her case had a reputation for being particularly harsh on those accused of animal cruelty. But was what she did indeed animal abuse? Her neighbors seemed to think so, as they were the ones who had reported her. Living on a quiet, friendly street where people exchanged pleasantries over picket fences and children played in the yards, Alyssa had once been part of that peaceful routine. Concerns, however, soon began circulating about her home and her dog, Moose. Moose, a seven-year-old pit bull mix, had once been the pride of the neighborhood, admired for his gentle nature despite his intimidating breed. Moose had always stood out in the neighborhood, making friends with every child who passed by his fence. Neighbors often stopped to pet him or offered treats as they strolled past Alyssa's home. He was a beloved figure on the block, but as time went on, something seemed off. Moose hadn't been seen in weeks. No more playful runs in the yards or walks with Alyssa. Concerned, a few neighbors decided to check on him, hoping for a glimpse of the friendly pit bull. Instead, they spotted him sitting by a window inside the house, looking sad and downcast, though he appeared physically fine. Assuming Alyssa kept him indoors, possibly to help him recover from a minor illness, no one had acted on their suspicions. Mrs. Jen, a retired school teacher, sensed something deeper was wrong. Known for keeping a close watch on the community, she had noticed that Alyssa herself had become unusually withdrawn, rarely leaving her house, a contrast to the active, outdoor-loving woman they were used to seeing. One day, as Mrs. Jenkins became increasingly unsettled by her concerns, she visited her neighbor. The moment she stepped into the yard, a revolting odor hit her, growing stronger with each step she took toward the house. The smell was unbearable when she finally reached the front door, forcing her to wrap a scarf around her nose and mouth to block it out. She knocked loudly, but got no response. She tried again, but silence greeted her. Desperate to see what was happening, she looked through a side window, only to find her view obscured by furniture. It was clear someone was inside, yet no one came to the door. Her worry escalated, but knowing the risks of taking matters into her own hands, she decided to contact the authorities rather than trespass or endanger herself. With growing urgency, she reported the situation to animal control, sharing her concerns over Alyssa and her dog, Moose. Upon the officer's arrival, the putrid smell and eerie silence that had greeted Mrs. Jenkins also awaited him. He rapped on the door multiple times, and after what felt like an endless wait, Alyssa showed up. She appeared unkempt and weary, a stark contrast to her usual self. It was evident that something was gravely amiss. Despite the officer's routine inquiries, Alyssa's vague and evasive responses shed little light on the situation. A swift peek inside the house uncovered a disorderly scene reminiscent of a hoarder's abode than a typical dwelling, hinting to the officer that the problem might transcend mere animal care. Consulting Mrs. Jenkins, who had affirmed the presence of a dog, provided the officer with the basis for further exploration. Spotting a dog toy indoors solidified his resolve to proceed. What awaited him was heart-wrenching. Moose was confined in a filthy space devoid of water, his coat matted and grimy. The dog was clearly in profound neglect, barely clinging to life. Alyssa was taken into custody for animal neglect and cruelty. Overwhelmed and seemingly disoriented, she appeared ill-equipped to comprehend the severity of her actions. Alyssa's case was assigned to Judge Michael Sinetti, renowned for his unconventional legal approach. Already burdened with guilt and anxiety, Alyssa dreaded the impending trial. She was aware of the potential consequences, 90 days in jail, a prospect that filled her with dread. She had not intended to harm Moose, her mental state had rendered her incapable of caring for him. She wondered if the judge would even consider her circumstances and how he would respond to her explanation. Many of Alyssa's neighbors attended the court hearing to witness the outcome. 
When they learned that Judge Zanetti would be presiding over the case, they anticipated an intriguing and potentially unconventional trial. Judge Zanetti was known for his innovative sentencing methods. He believed in tailoring punishment to fit each crime, aiming for fairness and justice. Unlike the usual prison terms that he thought often resulted in creating more hardened criminals than reformed individuals, Judge Zanetti explored alternative strategies. Before his arrival, the neighborhood was alive with tales of his past animal cruelty cases. One particularly infamous incident featured a man mistreating his neighbor's pet rooster. Instead of a conventional jail sentence, Judge Zanetti instructed the man to spend a day in the local park donning a chicken costume. He had to cluck and squawk at passerbys, elucidating his offense to those who asked. Upon learning the reasons behind his peculiar behavior, people often reprimanded him. This embarrassing punishment aimed to make the man comprehend the irrationality and harshness of his actions, a goal it undoubtedly achieved. The man later confessed that the ordeal was humiliating yet enlightening, leading him to never harm another animal. Awaiting Judge Sinetti's arrival, Alyssa caught wind of the rumors circulating her, intensifying her anxiety. Uncertain of the judge's impending decision, she struggled with the unknown fate awaiting her. Despite her lack of intention to harm Moose, her struggles had impeded her ability to care adequately for him. Hoping for the judge's empathy and understanding, Alyssa stood as Judge Sinetti entered the courtroom. Her pulse raced with trepidation as a judge with sharp yet compassionate eyes delved into the details of her case. Addressing her as Miss Morrow, Judge Sinetti broached the charges of animal neglect and cruelty, prompting Alyssa to admit her guilt. Her voice quivering, Judge Sinetti, in a reflective demeanor, contemplated her confession, his gaze discerning as if weighing the path to follow. Alyssa Morrow stood before the court, taking a steady breath before launching into her defense. She spoke of how losing her job had plunged her into a deep depression, which caused her to neglect not only her home, but also her dog, Moose. Tears filled her eyes as she admitted to unintentionally failing her pet, explaining that her battles had kept her from providing the care Moose deserved. The judge listened silently, his face unreadable. When Alyssa finished, the judge regarded her closely. Miss Morrow, your regret is evident. However, the fact remains that Moose suffered due to your actions. Ordinarily, this would result in a 90-day jail sentence. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor, she replied softly, her voice quivering. This wasn't how she had imagined things would go. But then again, had she expected any different? Judge Sinetti cleared his throat, his tone firm. I think there's a better way for you to grasp the seriousness of what you've done and make things right, if you're willing, that is. Alyssa froze, unsure of what to expect. Was it going to make her wear a dog costume or apologize publicly? The air in the courtroom grew thick with anticipation. Leaning forward, the judge declared, Instead of jail time, you will spend eight hours at the local landfill, collecting trash. I want you to understand the environment you subjected Moose to. In addition, you'll complete 30 hours of community service at the animal shelter, where you will assist in caring for animals in need. Fail to meet these conditions, and you will be sent to prison immediately. Do you understand? Relief washed over Alyssa. The punishment, while unpleasant, was far better than the jail time she had feared. She thanked the judge repeatedly, promising to complete her sentence without fail. Her day at the dump was tough. She arrived early in old clothes, bracing herself for the worst. The smell was unbearable, and the sight of endless trash was overwhelming. As she picked up garbage and sorted through the waste, her mind drifted to Moose and the conditions he had suffered. Every piece of trash felt like a way to compensate for her neglect. Oddly, despite the discomfort, Alyssa found clarity at the dump. She realized how far she had let things spiral and how much her pet had endured because of it. By the end of the day, she was exhausted and filthy, but also determined. She vowed never to allow herself or any animal to suffer like that again. Her time at the animal shelter was a different experience. Here, Alyssa found comfort and a sense of purpose. She spent hours feeding, grooming, and playing with the animals, bonding with the other volunteers while learning about animal care and welfare. The work was challenging but rewarding, and she soon looked forward to her shifts. 
Each hour at the shelter felt like a step toward redemption, proving she was capable of compassion and care. As the weeks passed, Alyssa finished her sentence, but continued volunteering at the shelter. Her time there and her interactions with the animals and other volunteers helped her heal. She regained her confidence, secured a new job, and began rebuilding her life. Moose, now healthy and happy in foster care, became a constant reminder of the lessons she had learned. She visited him whenever she could as part of her ongoing atonement for the neglect she had caused. Judge Sinetti's unique approach to justice has proven effective. By creating sentences that fit the crime, he encouraged offenders to reflect on their actions and understand the harm they caused. His methods significantly reduced repeat offenses in his jurisdiction, showing the impact of compassionate, thoughtful justice. This sentence was life-changing for Alyssa. It helped her confront her mistakes, make amends, and turn her life around. Ultimately, the judge's approach saved more than one life. It restored Alyssa's spirit and gave her a fresh start. What would you have done in this situation? How do you feel about Alyssa's story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching.